Hey folks, this is IOE throwing so back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Rumpel, and he is in the Udas 16. This is a newish tank. Um, I I must say, this is one of the first time uh, I, this is the first time I've seen this coast, and I like it. It's very interesting. I won't say pretty because it's not, but <laughs> it's interesting. Anyway, so. Um, this is a tier 10 game on Westfield, and, um, we're in tier 9 tanks. We are backed up by Lurpy over there in the batch at 155.55. Um, and so he's going to be dropping a shell every once in a while, probably on whatever is trying to kill us the most. Um, though possibly we won't see him at all for the rest of the game. <laughs> we'll watch to see he goes. Uh, this thing is mobile enough that we are getting towards where the uh, some of the faster tank destroyers or the medium tanks like to sit at the start of the game and harass as much as possible. Now, uh, I don't think he knows which way he wants to be looking. Uh, the guys up front on the ridge line over here have already been shot a couple times, so that means there is something across the way, and. Possibly over here. We're set up to counter any push they, they make across. But at the same time, he's keeping his head on a swivel and making sure there's nothing, no targets behind him. As that might be something he wants to shoot at. But oh, yeah, look at that. Oh! The shot goes low. Unfortunately, we're not going to. Oh no, we're going to reload in time to hit this guy again. Apparently. He that's a different guy. <laughs> huh. uh, again, the shot goes low, and we're not going to get another opportunity at him uh, unless he crosses it behind the little ridge back here. I think we went kind of good elevation, but we are okay on the slope. Oh, speaking of okay on the slope, auto aiming on the scout tank below us, putting a shot into him without being lit because of of course the fact that we fired through so many bushes um one more shot into him that had to have lit us up it did we're gonna reload and put one oh no there we go um unfortunately backing up too far and i had the gun elevate we're gonna take cover here and miss the type 61 rumple I mean, I know this is going to be a great game, but if you had hit these first three shells, this would have been such a better game. And, um... <laughs> yeah. Now, last question. Is he firing gold or standard ammo? He's firing standard ammo. Okay, good to know. When you're standard and your gold are both APCR, it's hard to tell the difference. The type down there is going to get annoying, so he's actually positioned so that he can take an overwatch shot on him. Uh, unfortunately, our allies have fallen back so far, they didn't even know that that object was on its way until it got right up to where it is now, where we no longer have shots on it. Um, whereas, if we would had shots on it while it was still crossing to over there, like this, it would be a little bit easier to take it out. Type 61 is trying to sneak up, and for a second there it was in view, now it's not. Object 430, you though. Yeah, I mean, you're going to sit there in the open, we're going to shoot you kind of thing, right? No shots on the 140, still no shots on the Type 61. Going back to the 430, you who's still in the open, though the second shot bounced as it went a little high and hit that uh, turret on him. We're just going to hold this barrel in the same spot and fire one last shell. As somebody, one of the artilleries, brings a shell down towards him. Um, hmm. You can hear something firing near, uh, nearby, but uh, not able to pinpoint exactly where it is. If he comes up from behind this building, he's going to get incoming fire from the 140 and the 430U. Assuming, of course, they haven't crippled the 430U. It's not dead, but that doesn't mean it hasn't run in terror. If it was getting crippled, it may have bugged out. Nope, never mind. 
as the Ag Tiger ends that threat. The Object 140, of course, knows that we're still over here somewhere and doesn't want to peek out too far because, of course, it doesn't want to get hit. 51, uh, type, or, uh, T-54E1, it looks like it's falling back on our team, and so is the Skoda. That is, of course, going to leave an opening for the enemies to be able to push up um, when they figure it out. When they figure it out, it's going to go a bit bad, so that means that we need to start acting a little sooner than we necessarily wanted to. There we go. Nice tag through the building, through the bushes. Didn't even get spotted doing it. Somehow. We must have spotted him and then he ran backwards through enough bushes that... Wait, how did we see him but he didn't see us? I don't know. But apparently that's what happened. <laughs> We saw him, he didn't see us, he ran backwards through enough bushes that we could fire and hit him without revealing our position. Which is totally planned for, right? That's exactly what we plan on doing. That's not at all luck or, uh, <laughs> or the enemy fleeing in terror for no good reason. Not Well, I guess he actually had a decent reason. However, if he come up and sat on the other side of this house... It would have been perfectly safe from us and still put us in a horrible position. Uh, oh, hello, Mr. E1. Oh, yeah. What? I would have taken that first shot, but okay. Um, no, no, now you're it. Oh, he was trying to wait for the 140 to back up far enough. Ah. That would make sense. Um, I still would have taken that first shot when the 40 was a lot higher because it would have meant that um, I was guaranteed to put the shot into the E1. Um, if you wait too long, that thing w w was going to get far enough down that you could start to bounce shells off the top of it because, of course, it's all around up there, which is annoying. I'm going to speed this up a little bit because there's no point in sitting around and waiting while... Rumpel gets himself into position above this E100. He's not going to be able to shoot down you know, buildings in the way. There's dead tanks in the way. There's other things in the way. Uh, so as much as this position, position looks like a fun one, it's actually going to be kind of ineffective. Unless that E100 comes forward for some reason, but I see no reason why he would. Artillery is just... Oh, hello, Mr. 140. We get spotted doing that. I'm going to assume the E1 spotted us. E1 must be wa making its way up this way. Um, seeing as we have nothing to spot it, there's no reason it can't be here. Um, which is how we got lit. Because that 140 didn't see us. Yeah. The E1 must be trying to make sure it doesn't get lit. Forty behind us. Um, looks like Rumpel is not really concerned about. It. Oh no, now he is. Didn't see it before. I'm assuming. Sees it now. Is going to be able to pop a shell into it. Right about there. Unfortunately, it takes one in the return, but does take out the 140. So that is that guy out of the game. The fourth are you, however, just get nailed by two different people. And had a big chunk of his health leave. A rather crucial time for him. Uh, if he's not able to kill that... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, he rushed the 100 and got himself killed. Oh, there we go. Good shot. We didn't see the outline of force because he was on the other side of a stone wall, which was a problem. Now he is a one shot for the Agzilla. Actually, he's a one shot for a lot of the guys up here, unfortunately. Um, 
he doesn't go down quite yet. The Exhale looks like he's going to die first as it gets ambushed by the um, STRV up there. STRV going to get taken out in return. Yes. Good job, Rumple. Pull him back over the hill to try to avoid artillery, which has got to be coming up this way. Unfortunately, the 60 TP died at the same time. And now we are alone against the two. Oh, it was going to be alone against three enemies up here. And then the E100 gets nailed by a shrubbery. <laughs> uh, and now we are alone against, well, pretty much against four enemies. Because everybody can reach us here. Artillery, of course, can. And the uh, the scout tank's pretty mobile. E1 is not that mobile on its own. So... Uh, now the 60 TP is trying to tell him not to go after the WZ. He does so, and then <laughs> reverses direction and immediately takes out the E1. He's just going to try not to ram the, the WZ, which I think is a mistake. I think he should have rammed him. Um, I will have to get their relative uh, weights after the fact. Ooh, yes, as he manages to put in his second shell. Bouncing, just barely bouncing. The shell from the WZ. And now he's just gonna. Why is he driving in a straight line? Do not drive in a straight line. As our Lurpy, who are we haven't seen all game, takes out the remaining artillery piece just before it can fire the last shell and uh, kill our hero. Whew, that was a duel to the death, and I liked it. Ace Tanker, Hand of God, Bruiser, Duelist, Fire for Effect, and Fighter. I, I know. 25 bonds! Holy smokes, I think that's the most I've seen in a while. Well done, and of course, a Spartan Award. Um, unfortunately, no, no Top Gun, no High Caliber, no that stuff. But well done, all the same. It is, I do want to note that I checked out the weight limits, or uh, the weights of both tanks. This thing weighs 32 tons, the WZ weighs 23. If he'd rammed it, he would have saved himself a lot of pain and trouble, and got the kill a lot more quickly. <laughs> more securely. Um, at least attempting the ram would have been the best idea. Worst case scenario... Uh, is that he missed, but I don't think that was a likely scenario. They passed quite close together. Uh, I think the worst case scenario that could have happened. Oh, no, a shrubber is the 100, not, not the one that killed him. That's not the point. Sticky fingers killed the shrubbery. Okay. Anyway, so, um, I think the most, the worst case scenario that would have happened to the WZ, um, was that he would have taken his tracks off. In the best case is he would have rammed it to death. And I, I still, I'm going to make the case that, that they should have gone for a ram at the end. Rumpel will, of course, argue with me about it, and that's okay. I'm perfectly fine with that. Well done, sir. Um, it was a great game. Thank you to Lurpy for the save at the end with the artillery. And made a hundred grand, which he spent most of but he still walks away making some credits whether or not you are looking at the premium or, or regular account. And thank you all for watching. This was a great game. If you want to see more of this, subscribe. If you don't, then just hit that like button. I get it. Also, um, I will be streaming next Wednesday and Thursday. I'm going to see if I can stream on Monday, but we'll have to see about that one. I might end up just spending the day recording. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Have a great day. This is IOE Throughout.